What's up everybody? Doing a little guitar comparison video today. Today I'm doing Les Paul type guitars versus the Les Paul. So I'm giving you three different Les Pauls at three different price points and uh, just kind of comparing the specs and how they sound and how they play. And um, yeah, let's get started. First of all, smoking the Missouri Meerschaum Corncob Pipe. Excellent pipe for beginning pipe smokers. You can get them at the drugstore for like $5 or something. They make the tobacco taste sweeter, different. Nice change of pace. So first of all on the list right here, I got a LTD Eclipse Deluxe 1000T. It's based off of Black Beauty. Got the binding on the back. Got the Marzios from the factory. Tailpiece and bridge are both locking. So once you get it set where you want, you can lock it in place and they won't move. Um, very nice guitar. Got the volute on the back of the headstock, which personally I think is a good idea. I like. Uh, double binding is a Les Paul Black Beauty, essentially. Brand new. These things run about $1,000. Um, a little less. Used, you can get them dirt cheap. Um, it, in fact, I paid $100 for this. It was grungy and needed cleaning and it came with the matching hard shell case. So they're out there. Thank you, LKM Pong, hooking me up. Got locking tuners. The tuners are very nice. Everything about this is nice. It's Korean Mega Guitar. You got your bridge volume, neck volume, master tone. And uh, yeah, here's how she sounds. <laughs>
up really good. I don't know how much justice a cell phone camera does, but uh, cleans up really good. The sustain on it is insane. The DiMarzio pickups, I'm usually not a DiMarzio fan, but these uh, are killer. Like I said, you could get these used anywhere from a hundred bucks to, I don't know, five, six hundred bucks, maybe five hundred bucks. Excellent guitar. This is the cheapest one on my list of comparisons. Highly recommend. All these guitars I recommend, really. Next on the list is my and I believe this is a 24 and 3 quarter scale, just like a Les Paul. Here's my Zemitis. Now, this is a, like a Les Paul, but more refined in my opinion. I, I actually kind of think I like it more than Les Paul's now. But I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't played it long enough. 24 frets, which is a nice change. Uh, the body shape's a little slimmer and smaller, thinner. It's lighter. Um... The bridge screws to the body along with the tailpiece. It screws to the body in place. You adjust those wheels, it doesn't move. Also, if you look, the bridge is slotted so the angle of the strings doesn't rub against the back of the tunematic like it does on a Les Paul. So, better design. Um, nice inlays, binding on the fretboard. No volute. It's got Zemitis brand tuners. Nice. Also Korean made. Uh, it's got some Midas pickups. This is a 20, uh, 25 inch scale. So it's a little bit longer than a Les Paul, shorter than a Strat. Kind of like PRS. So, uh, yeah. Beautiful guitar. Pictures don't do it justice. I love it. <laughs> your bridge volume neck volume bridge tone neck tone leave the tone all the way forward because it's kind of a dark sounding guitar tone's kind of useless but typical Les Paul <laughs> Sustain is the LTD, but it's still good. Roll it back for some clean.
pretty rocking. These, I think brand new are $15.99 or $1,600. But if you wait, like a couple times a year, they put them on sale and you can grab one of these for $9.99 brand new. Kind of hard to find on the secondhand market. So uh, a little more expensive than the LTD. Um, different vibe, the LTD is a little more modern. This one's a little more vintage. Uh, they both play comparably. They're both good players. I like the features of this, like the Tunematic Bridge that they came up with and Tailpiece. It, it, good job, Zemitis. It's a, it's a refined Les Paul. I like it. <coughs> Lastly, let's go to the Les Paul. Let me change the amp settings because this one's a little bit darker. <coughs> So we got a Les Paul Classic Custom. It's got Seymour Duncan, Pearly Gates, Reverse Wound 59, so like traditional Les Paul pickup sound. Um, I rolled the bass back a little bit on the amp, so there, there's a little bit difference there because it gets a little too bassy when you go to the neck pickup. But uh, just traditional Les Paul, 24 inch, 24 and three quarter inch scale. Uh, wrap around tailpiece, well, tunematic and a stop bar, but I wrap it around to, because that, that angle of the strings over the bridge, if you don't, it's too sharp and the strings will buzz and it's annoying. Uh, Grover tuners, nice tuners, binding on just the front, block inlays, which look the best, hands down. And uh, yeah. guitar's got heavier gauge strings it's got 13s on it the others have 11s um the neck's a little bit bigger than both the other ones the other ones are a little bit smaller i'd say the ltd is kind of like a strap c shape and this one's a little smaller uh just i can fit my hand around it this one's a little harder to play you gotta fight it a little bit but that's part of the charm uh it's i don't, I don't know it's a, it's a les paul thing i like i like my les pauls to have heavy strings sloppy playing clean it up a little
like this, it's gonna set you back close to two grand. So it's the most expensive Les Paul option. But uh, you can get them used a little bit cheaper. And uh, yeah, there it is. There's plenty of Les Paul alternatives out there. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get the Les Paul vibe. So uh, I enjoy all three of these guitars just as they all got their own thing. This is probably the least hot guitar, but it records very well, especially for rhythm stuff with the heavy strings. So yeah, if you like this video, go check out our other videos, including my band Testarossa. Go check out our music videos. I've done other gear reviews, comparisons, etc., etc. Today's music recommendation. Hands down, the best songwriter of all time, David Allen Coe. All of his 70s albums, you can listen to them all the way through, and they're just amazing albums. He's the most underrated songwriter of all time, hands down. Like, it, it just doesn't get better. The song I'd recommend off this, Face to Face, it's an old country classic. So, uh, if you like old school country, listen to his 70s albums. I know he's got a bad reputation with his X rated albums, but. His serious albums are uh, There's Nobody Better in the Country World. This is classic, and plus sweet album art. Later, fools. Tell me which one you like in the comments.